Good day and welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, Nation's Voice Tower. My name is Angelo Himalayas, your anchor. Yes, I'm here with what's trending for you, and um, you're going to be shocked, of course. Obedience um, storm Washington, D.C., ahead of Mega Rally. Yes, um, news reaching us uh, is saying um, that um, Obedience, as uh, people who are supporters of Peter Obi and uh, um, the Dirty Ahmad Baba, as supporters of the Labour Party, have stormed um, Washington, D.C as um in 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 the, in the form of solidarity support for the labor party presidential candidate all right well uh, nigerians in the united states of america who are supporters of the presidential ticket of the labor party okay have involved themselves in what we call a mega rally for peter obi all right yes it's no longer news that um um these nigerians came out in mass to really show uh, the support for peter obi in their obedient uniforms okay this is ahead of a mega rally convened by the Professor A.D. Oparoji led Nigerian Labour Party, USA chapter, in collaboration with the influential US based Nigerian American Coalition for Justice and Democracy, NACJD. All right. Now, the Save Nigeria, uh, other Peter Obi, and uh, it's called Save Nigeria, uh, or Peter Obi Support uh, and Pro Democracy Organizations in the United States, came out in mass to show their support for. Peter Obi and uh, Dirty Baba Ahmed, all right? Well, I'll allow you to watch the video on how they began the rally and how they, they convened and how they did everything. After the video, we'll talk of what um, the, um, the campaign in diaspora is going on for. Watch this video. Don't touch that dial. Yes, welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is still Nation's Voice Tower, your favorite YouTube channel. Yes, um, without wasting much of your time, you've watched that video and you've seen um, how happy everybody were, or all the obedience were, as they call themselves, in um, the rally in USA, in Washington, D.C., okay, in their obedient uniforms. Well, um, the rally took place in um, the historic Freedom Plaza, opened in 1980 in honor of uh, Martin Luther King Jr. As a part of the Pennsylvania Avenue Development Co Corporation's PADC uh, plan to transform the Pennsylvania into a ceremonial route connecting the U.S. capital to the White House. Yes, according to the team of the rally, um, the obedience will be collectively demanding a free, fair and credible elections in Nigeria. Yes, and um, of course, we've told you before that obedience are not really out of, um, uh, they're not really feeling, they're feeling, they're not really feeling inferior, but they feel that if a free and fair election is conducted, of course, Peter will be their candidate, might win, according to them. Okay, well, uh, in a statement issued on the eve of the mega rally by NACD, NACJD, I beg your pardon, in the last 24 hours, they say, the ruling political class have failed to meet the needs uh, of average Nigerians. Okay, the denials, the corruption, the impunity, and the crass, uh, the grass uh, recklessness have come to head. There is trouble everywhere, according to the NHCJD. Okay, 
No generation has got it worse than millions of today's Nigerian youths. The economic and security situations worsened under the watch of the politicians who benefit from Nigeria the most. That was a statement from the NA. Uh, CJD, okay. Well, I suppose you watched the video and you saw what uh, happened there. Of course, that was just uh, a part of uh, the uh, obedience coming out in mass to show their support for their candidate in diaspora. Okay, if you could remember, some days ago there were uh, some weeks ago or months ago there were um, a lot of proposals about how um, Nigerians in diaspora would vote and how they would come out in mass to um, exercise their own franchise by voting. Well. We don't know how um, they will tend to vote, but I think INEC is making a provision for people in diaspora to vote their own candidates. Peter Obi has been one of the most popular presidential candidates over time, and he has sprung up from a minority party, of course, although an opposition, but um, over time, Labour Party has become a household name in the lips of every Nigerian. And I tell you what, they are trying their best to see how they could overturn the political balance the, the political imbalance in Nigeria and the uh, uh, a kind of bring to tape the table a, a kind of a developmental governance that um, Peter Obi has been proposing over time. Well, I we hope to see what uh, the Labour Party presidential candidate, which is counterpart uh, Dr. Baba Ahmed, we hope to see what they will do. Of course, next week, 25th um, February uh, 2023, if they win the elections, all right. Well, there has been a form of backlash over time between um, PDP. Uh, and then APC, talking about their aspirants, Atiku Aubakar, and then uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. There have been a form of backlash that has kind of calmed down in the last uh, few days. But the truth remains that Peter Obi is one candidate for the presidential seat that is yet to be untouched. One candidate that is, is yet to be soiled. One candidate whose name is yet to be brought to the mud, all right, as well as his own um, running mate, Dati Baba Ahmed. But the truth is that um, of course, um, uh, uh, Sh uh, Mr. Alhaji Shetima, that is the running mate of Bola Ahmed Tinubu, Kashim Shetima, and then um, um, Patrick Okowa, that's the uh, running mate of um, Atiku Abubakar of the PDP, all have been had or uh, have, have had their names uh, drawn in the mud over time. Okay, and then um, even their principals, that is Atiku Abubakar and then Bola Ahmed Tinubu, have also had their names drawn to the mud. But um, of course, when you talk about Peter Obi, you talk about integrity. When you talk about Peter Obi, you talk about character. When you talk about Peter Obi, you talk about confidence, okay, and competence, all right, according to the obedience. Well, it's left for us to see how well and how far he's going to show it because um, we've had candidates like that that have come over time to really display uh, and tell us a lot of things during campaigns. But um, over time, they are while well given the opportunity, they tend to fail in their actions and duties. Well, Peter Obi is one person that people are, are, are actually vouching for, according to what obedience have been saying, especially if you heard in that video. And um, they are taunting us to place our votes for their aspirant and then um, um, tell him or tell them at the polls why Peter Obi would not win the elections. Well, it is not our, for our, our own table or it's not for our own intentions to say, but it is for the votes and the uh, final results of the INEC to tell who wins the election come 25th February next week. That's that from Nation Voice Tower, and I'm con I'm continuing. I will continue bringing you um, more updates according to what happens in the political scene. Don't touch that dial. From us here, we're drawing the curtain. Peace out.